Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Cam Studio Recorder in Windows 8.1 Pro. It's a free package from Cam Studio and it's basic. So uh, I'm going to show you how to install it, how to configure it, uh, how to install the uh, Cam Studio uh, lossless uh, codec, which is also required, and also, most importantly, how to avoid installing the uh, adware that comes with this program, uh, bundled with this program. Fortunately, Cam Studio gives, gives you an option to opt out of installing the adware and, uh, you know, highly recommended that you do in installing the uh, program. Now, I've also made a video on this for Windows 7. I, I'll put the link for that in the uh, end of this video as well. Uh, understand that it's free and that it's basic software. What, that, what do I mean by basic? Well, if you need a screen capture program that can do 30 frames per second, uh, this one is not for you. If you need something that's that robust, uh, you know, a full screen capture at 30 frames per second, then you're probably going to have to pay for it to get that kind of performance. This program does a basic 6 to 5 frames per second on a fairly fast laptop that, that I'm using right now, which is uh, got a core i5 uh, processor in it, so 64-bit. And, you know, so this is the most I'm going to, you're going to get out of it. At least I'm going to get out of it. But it's plenty good for what I'm using it for, which is basic screen capture. So let's go get the program. I'm using Firefox here. And uh, whatever you're using, just go to a Google search and uh, do, type in Cam Studio. You'll see a bunch of links. Uh, I avoid the Cam Studio org link because you got to go digging through it to get to the actual download. So let's go here to Cam Studio Screen Recorder uh, download from Sorge Forge, uh, which is where they link to you anyway. So we'll click on that. And here uh, you have a bunch of different uh, options, but really the only one you need is here. Download with the installer enabled. Well, they're all uh, installer enabled, so you don't have the option. You have to go through this. So I'll walk you through it. Click on the green link here and you get the Cam Studio setup 2-7 uh, R316-3311, sorry, dash 33155.exe. Uh, that's the latest version as of this uh, video. So hit save the file here and then I'm just going to open that up uh, however you go to that on your browser. Cam Studio setup, just uh, double or single click on that. I got the user account control which probably won't show up on this video but if you get a, a warning from the user account control just hit yes to it and then it starts preparing the install now this is a, a, a several part install so here right off the bat you'll see the source forge camp studio screen recorder screen and it's asking you to accept the download or not right uh, so if you want the program and source forge hosts this file and has scanned it to ensure that it's virus and spyware free and I know that's true because I'm using a BAST and I've installed it. I'm running it right now and it didn't, didn't go off or warn me about any of that. So here we click on accept to download Cam Studio Setup 2-7 blah, blah, blah. So hit accept here. Then you get a second screen, which you, you know, by default, you're more likely to hit a great agree and install on. Don't do that. This is the, uh, scan, the uh, Cam Studio Screen Recorder Search Offer. Don't hit agree and install to that. You don't have to to install the program. If you hit agree and install here, you're going to get the Yahoo uh, web search and all that stuff plugged into your browsers, and you don't want that. You just want the screen uh, capture software, the Cam Studio. So you hit decline here, and it will only download the screen capture program. So hit decline, and as you can see, it's downloading fairly quickly. And after you're done install, uh, sorry, downloading, then we're going to install it. Okay, so now you have the option to install now and just click the green button here to install now. And you get the option here to uh, well install. Welcome to Cam Studio Setup Wizard. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to accept the agreement here because, hey, if you don't, it won't install. Click Next. Uh, it shows you where it's going to install it. If you want to install it somewhere else, well, you can choose a different one. But I'm going to go with the default. Then you have the uh, option to customize your uh, start menu folder. To, uh, you know, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it with the default again. Or, you know, and down here you have the option not to create the start menu folder. I don't know why you wouldn't, but up to you. Uh, I'm, again, going with the defaults. Hit next. Now, if you want to create a desktop icon, just uh, check on this box here. 
to ins to create that desktop icon i don't like that so i'm just going to leave it off and i'm just going to hit next here so again going with the default and then you get the uh, you know the review ready to install screen telling you what it's going to do and then you click on install well i'm going to skip the install because i've already installed it i'm running it right now so i don't need to install it so uh, at this point you just want to hit install and then uh, let it go through its process and then when it's done uh, carry on from there to uh, the next step in the installation so i'm going to hit cancel here i'm expecting you to hit install and go through the process to the end yeah setup's not complete of course i'm going to hit uh, exit setup here because like i said i'm running it right to the left of this window so if i install it over top it probably won't even work anyway but uh, just go through the process there for yourself now that's stage one the installation now it comes with a bunch of uh, default, what they call codecs. Uh, they work okay, but they don't work great. Uh, Cam Studio has actually created their own codec for this. So at this point, what we're going to do is go get that codec so we can use it. So next, uh, we're going to go back to the search function on your browser or go to Google if you wish. And here we're going to type in Cam Studio codec download. All right. Then you get the first link, which is a new 64-bit compatible Cam Studio codec uh, version 1.1 installer. So we're going to click on that link. And uh, if you look down here, you'll see that there's the default from uh, Sorge Forge to go get that. Again, uh, you, know, you need to do this carefully to avoid installing the Yahoo adware. So I'm going to click on that link, and you get the link to uh, Cam Studio setup. So one, sorry, codec. 1.5 so save the file i'm going to open that file up there it is the codec 1.5 setup and again i get the user account uh, control pop-up which you probably won't see but if you get it uh, just click on yes and then the install will begin all right at this point you have the same options you had with cam studio screen recorder again it's the codec you can see it down here uh, SourceForge is, is ensuring that it's virus and spyware free. I've again verified that by installing it with Avast and I haven't had a problem. Here we're going to hit accept. Again, you get another search offer and this is the adware package that they add on to this install. Do not hit agree and install here uh, unless you want Yahoo buttons and all that in your uh, browser. Personally, I don't. So I'm going to hit decline here and you can see it's a very short uh, installed uh, download so here we're going to hit install now and of course I'm running it already so it says it's already installed but just go through the defaults and in installing the program and you'll be fine so here it says uh, is already installed reinstall uh, well I guess we can go yes I'm gonna I'm gonna say no here for myself because it, you know I'm recording with it right now so I guess that no uh, I just go through the defaults and in installing that all right so at this point you'll have the uh, Cam Studio screen capture software installed and the, the uh, Cam Studio codec 1.5. Now, uh, why is that important? Because it makes it more stable and uh, uh, trustworthy software. So I'm going to open up Cam Studio here and I'll minimize the rest out of the way. All right, so it's currently running and uh, I'm currently, uh, you know, making this video with it. Uh, but I can show you the, the options that you're going to have to configure. Now, the most common options are region and what region means is what are you going to record what region uh, if you choose region it's going to uh, you know before when you hit the record button it's going to give you a box and say pick your region that you want to record and then you can pick a, par a portion of your screen and just record that portion uh, then you can choose fixed region again same thing it's going to uh, you know basically uh, record a, a section of your screen and uh, what region, sorry, I'm going backwards here, but what region will do is it will follow your mouse around and record your mouse, you know, where you're, a region around your mouse. Fixed region will just, you know, you'll just choose one section of your screen and that's the only part of the screen that it's going to record. Then you can choose to uh, uh, record a window. So you could say, okay, I'm going to choose to record the Cam Studio uh, window and that's the only portion of the screen that it will record. Of course, I'm recording the full screen okay which is the heaviest uh, use of this program and therefore why I'm only getting 5.8 frames per second okay so then next we're gonna go to options and you have a bunch of options here so uh, let's go to video options 
and you can see that I'm using the Cam Studio lossless codec version 1.5 and that's the uh, version uh, sorry that's the codec we just downloaded uh, by default it will be on the Intel IYUV codec you need to choose the Cam Studio lossless codec uh, version 1.5 to actually use it and I strongly recommend you doing that because it makes the program much more stable and much more reliable uh, if you don't use it you'll figure out what that means uh, quite quickly <laughs> Okay, so just use the Cam Studio lossless codec version 1.5 and leave all the rest alone. Next, we're going to go to options, and then you have cursor options. And what cursor options is, we'll click on that, is you have the option to show the cursor or hide the cursor, and you can even highlight the cursor if you wish. I'm going to choose that option here. And it draws a yellow circle around your cursor, which makes it easier to see on the screen, depending uh, you can choose different shapes, you can choose different colors. Uh, I find that the default size and color is uh, a little obstructive. It works, uh, but it, it can actually, uh, you know, when you put your cursor over things, uh, obstruct the view of what you're actually trying to point out. So uh, you can change the color to something dimmer so it's not so big or, you know, change the size of it, whatever. Uh, up to you whether you use it or not. I'm not currently using it. And then you can also en enable visual uh, click feedback that so what that means is that when you hit the left button or the right button uh, it will just uh, you know draw a little circle uh, around your cursor showing that you've clicked the button that's kind of nice if you want to use it so I'm just gonna uh, uncheck those because again oops uh, I'm not using those features currently and I'm running the program so I'm just gonna leave it on the uh, default settings up to you how you uh, play with that and get the what you want out of it then we're going to go to options again. Uh, then we've got audio options. So you have audio options for the microphone, for speakers, and for video synchronization. Well, up to you. Uh, audio options for the microphone are the only one I ever touch, and that's this one here. And as you can see, it's on the external mic because I have an external mic hooked up. Uh, if you wanted to use the default input device or the internal microphone, you can choose those. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay, you can also choose the, the uh, recording format and, uh, you know, all the other settings. But again, the only one I changed is the external mic because I'm using an external mic. Up to you how you, you know, how do you set this up? It, again, you can play with it, see what your best results are. Back to options again. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, you know, enable auto pan. Well, that's for the uh, region setting. If you want it to move with your mouse, you can enable that here. And then you got auto pan speed. Uh, you know automatically records uh, stop recording personally I don't use those options it's up to you if you want to play with them program options well uh, there is a, actually a, an important setting in here so if we go down to here well you can set these any way you want um, but personally I don't play with them I leave them on uh, the defaults uh, except for this one down here um, where is it Okay, recording thread prior priority. By default, it'll be on normal. I put it on highest. Uh, that means basically that the, the CPU uh, gives this, uh, you know, program the highest uh, priority, meaning that it works on it continuously as, uh, as, as, you know, as powerfully as it can, therefore giving you the best frame rate and consistent frame rate uh, out of all the settings. So I would choose the highest here. Up to you again how you change that. Uh, record flash options, so I don't use flash to record. So again, it's something for you to go, go work with, okay? Um, you know, tools, effects, that's, again, I don't use those, up to you what you do with those. But at this point, basically, I've shown you how to configure it. I've shown you how to uh, avoid the uh, adware that comes with both the uh, Cam Studio program and the uh, Cam Studio lossless codec. You don't need to have the adware uh, package installed with it. And uh, as you can see, pretty uh, good software for uh, capturing the screen. Um, uh, one more thing I didn't get into, and that is the other codecs. So if you go back to video options here, you'll see that there is a bunch of other codecs. You may want to play with them, and maybe they'll work fine for you. But I just find that the Cam Studio Lossless Codec version 1.5 is the best one to use with this program. And... Uh, again, up to you how you configure it and, uh, you know, your quality settings and so on. I just like these settings. So, again, play with it, see what you come up with, and uh, basically 
that's how you install Cam Studio Recorder without the adware uh, and uh, with the Cam Studio uh, 1.5 codec. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention, and that is, you know, basically starting up Cam Studio. Uh, go down to your Windows icon on the bottom left, uh, then scroll down to your apps, and you'll find it in, in this window, uh, either under most used by my case, because I've been using it all morning, uh, or in the moderately used or least used uh, categories. If that doesn't work for you, just type in Cam Studio in the search, and you'll get it right off the bat. Okay, here's a little quirk about Cam Studio Recorder. Uh, you see here that it's recording and it's running, of course, because I'm recording the desktop, but if you minimize it, it the quirk is that you can't maximize it again. At least I can't, so I, if I minimize it, there's the icon down here, and you see it says flashing. You can right-click it and say Cam Studio, and nothing happens. Well, at this point, you're sort of, you know, wondering, well, well how do I control it? How do I turn it off? Well, if you go over here to the up arrow, uh, where it shows hidden icons. You'll see that it created an icon over here called Cam Studio. Uh, if you right click it and choose either pause or stop, then the uh, program will either pause or stop. And uh, you know, at that point, it will ask you to save the file or start the program again. So I'm just going to hit pause here. And of course, once I hit pause, you won't see the result of that because it will just pop. Uh, it, well, it'll stop the uh, recording. It's the same as hitting stop, except uh, pause allows you to continue past that point. Uh, stop, obviously, will stop the recording. Exit will also exit the program, but if you're recording, it will not exit. So those are, uh, it's just a little tip on using it uh, that, you know, uh, you may find a little quirky or weird when you first start using it. But basically, just come, to your, come down here to your hidden icons and uh, right click on the Cam Studio icon to get these controls which allow you to stop or, or pause the uh, program. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, Thank you very much for your time and watching.